Hi there, this video is a demonstration of steganography. We'll use a tool called JP Hide and Seek to hide a image inside of a JPEG and also hide a text file inside of a JPEG. Basically, you can hide any type of data you want to inside of a JPEG uh, and it will be hidden in plain sight. You won't be able to tell with the normal human eye that there's something hidden inside the JPEG unless you have both JPEGs, the original and the one that has something hidden into it next to each other. And even then you can't tell unless you use some sort of software to compare the differences. So the first tool we're gonna to use is JP Hide. I'll put the link for JP Hide and Seek beneath this video, as well as a tool called Beyond Compare. For JP Hide, we're gonna hide, first off, this file called LittleBub, which is just an image. We'll hide that, the data of littlebub.jpg inside of this other JPEG called ocean.jpg. This is a way to secretly transmit messages across the internet and supposedly the terrorists and that planned 9-11 uh, used this method to use steganography and this type of method to share their secret messages. So let's type in JP hide right here. It gives you the syntax right here. JP hide input file then output file, then hide file. So the input file is the file we're going to hide something inside of. That's the carrier file. So that will be ocean.jpg. The output file is what we're gonna name the new file where we've hidden something inside of. So I'm gonna do jp hide ocean.jpg. Output file, we'll call this ocean. 2.jpg and the hide file is what we're going to hide inside of ocean.jpg. So let's do littlebub.jpg. And then it's going to ask for a passphrase. I just hit enter on accident there. Let's try it one more time. I'll do one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And now we should have a file called ocean2.jpg over here. Here's ocean2. This JPEG should have the file called littlebub.jpg or the little bit picture inside of it. If we compare this image to the original ocean, I'll put the original ocean on the left here. Let's see, move this over. If we compare these two, you can't really see much difference. And the real trick with steganography is if you don't have the original carrier file, it's almost impossible to detect something if it's done properly is hidden inside of another file. I'm going to use a tool called Beyond Compare to open up both these files and do a pixel by pixel comparison to show you. Because with steganography and with JPEG steganography, we man manipulate the least significant bit of each pixel. And this tool does a good job of showing a representation of that. I'll put the link to Beyond Compare as well beneath this video. I'm going to go over here to Picture Compare. On the left side, I'll open the original file. This will call, be called ocean.jpg. So I'm going to browse to that file. All right, ocean.jpg. On the right side, I'll open ocean2.jpg, which is the file that has the hidden data inside of it. And you can see right here, this is the original. This is this, the, the file on the right here with the hidden data. But you can see here on the bottom, this is a pixel by pixel comparison. And it, they look different because if I ha hover over one of these pixels, let's just say right here, on the left side, you can see on the screen the RGB, red, green, blue color. It's 17, 19, 42. On the right image, it's 15, 20, 42. So it's just a little bit of a different shade of blue, but to the human eye, we really can't even tell. So a tool like Beyond Compare is very useful, but it's only useful if you have the original image used to hide the image into. Let's try to extract the data now that we've proven we can hide it. We use JP Hide to hide the data. Now we're gonna use JP Seek to extract the data out of Ocean 2. Ocean 2 has the hidden picture of LittleBub in it. So we we'll use JPSeq, and you can just type in, uh, I'll clear this here, JPSeq and nothing to get you the syntax. 
this one's pretty easy because it's just input file and output file. So JP seek. The input file is ocean2. This is the file we want to extract something out of. The output file is what what we're extracting out of ocean2. So the what we what we put in ocean2 is little bub. I'm going to extract it out of ocean2. I'm going to call it something else like uh, kitten.jpg. It asks for the password, passphrase. I use just one, two, three, four. Now I should have a file over here called kitten. It's right there. If I open it up, there's kitten, and it should be the same data as little bub. We can use beyond compare again to, to show, uh, just compare the, the two files. They should be exactly the same because with, with steganography and this particular tool, we're just hiding data. It just, it just so happens to be the data is in the form of a, a JPEG. So I'm going to open up little bub on the left, and then we'll open up uh, kitten on the right, and you see they look the same. The image looks the same on the bottom. So it's the same data. It doesn't matter what type of data it is. It doesn't matter what type of file. You can still hide it inside of an image with JP hide and seek. Just to prove that, we'll do one more example here. We'll hide this file called secret.txt inside of an image. It just says this is a super secret document. Reba caution. We'll hide this one inside of littlebub.jpg. I'm going to use JP hide for this again. So JP hide just to just press that to get the syntax. So input file, output file, hide file. Input file is little bub dot JPEG. That's the file we're hiding something inside of. Output file is the new file. We'll call this uh, secret dot JPEG. Doesn't really matter. The hide file is what we're hiding inside of little bub dot JPEG. We'll call this. Um, it's the secret dot text file actually. There we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now we should have a file called secret.jpg. It looks like little bub right there. And inside of this file, we have hidden the secret text. If we do a comparison between secret.jpg and little bub.jpg, they should look different because secret.txt is hidden inside of little bub. Uh, JPEG. So let's do a quick comparison there with Beyond Compare just to compare real quickly. I'm going to do a, a picture compare. Left side will open Little Bub. Right side will open secret.jpg. And you can see here this one has the hidden data, not quite as much data because it's just a text file. But if you highlight over one of these, you can see the color pattern is different. Uh, not that much different. This one is 253, 253, 253 versus 251, 251, 251. So not really enough to be able to pick it out if we look at both pictures uh, with the naked eye. But Beyond Compare could help us with that. And then the next thing is just to verify we can extract the data. So we use jpseq. Input file. This is secret.jpg. Output file. We'll call this secret2.txt. One, two, three, four. Now let's open secret two. It should be the same as secret. There we go. This is a super secret docu document. Read with caution. All right. So that was just a quick demonstration of steganography using JP hide and seek, hiding some sort of data inside of a JPEG. And one of the interesting things about this is even though you're hiding data inside of a JPEG, the JPEG that results uh, after you hide the data inside the carrier file may be smaller actually due to the compression with JPEGs. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. I hope you liked the video. Please comment if you have any comments and subscribe to our channel. Thanks. Have a great one.